With Bitdefender no longer offering a free edition of their software, and many people expressing concerns over using Russian-owned programs like Kaspersky, we decided it was time to update our list of the best free antivirus software for both Windows and Mac. In this top five, I'll go over the pros and cons of each to help keep your computer safe from viruses and other nasty malware. For some of you, our top pick might not be what you're expecting. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, barely holding on to the number five spot is Sophos Home Free. While popular with businesses, its home edition gets decent scores from independent labs. What it's best known for is its zero-day threat detection to identify malware that has not been added to a database yet. When you install Sophos Home, they give you full access including its premium features for 30 days. After the 30-day trial ends, you lose access to the premium features, but you'll still have real-time antivirus protection, zero-day threat protection, web protection, parental website filtering, and remote management. Now for the cons. They do not offer a quick scan, only a full scan is available. All features and settings are accessed via cloud-based remote management in your browser and not in the app. Even doing something as simple as turning on or off your settings or scheduling a scan can only be done on the Sophos website, which is disappointing. Moving on, coming in at number four is AVG Antivirus Free. Since being purchased by Avast more than five years ago, its development has slowed quite a bit but does feature the same antivirus protection engine as Avast, albeit with less features. In addition to the standard virus and malware protection, AVG does a great job of blocking dangerous links and attachments in your email. It also helps to stop suspicious downloads from infecting your computer. AVG Free Antivirus has a nice looking dart themed interface that's easy on your eyes and simple to use. Computer, along with web and email listed in basic protection are included for free. Those shown in full protection are only available if you upgrade. Coming in at number three is Avira Free Antivirus. This one has improved quite a bit over the last couple of years. Not only does it provide antivirus protection, it's a full security suite packed full of useful tools for free. It offers real-time protection, a password manager, a file shredder to erase sensitive data securely, and a VPN that allows for up to 500 megabytes per month for free. Unfortunately, many features like their Game Booster do require a premium account to be functional. On the positive side, it gets high marks in independent tests, and it's not a resource hog slowing down your computer. Also much improved is their user interface. You can easily run a smart scan from their status tab to quickly scan for viruses and other threats, clean your browsing traces for improved privacy, and frees up disk space for faster performance. And the additional tabs for security, privacy, and performance lets you access additional features, some of which are free or locked behind a paywall. Before we get to our top two, here's a quick bonus pick. Malwarebytes Free is what I recommend everyone have installed as a backup to their primary antivirus because with the real-time protection turned off, it does not interfere with other antivirus software. Just run it every now and then to scan for malware, ransomware, and other threats your primary antivirus might have missed. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is the Vast One Essential. With independent labs, its antivirus scores are excellent. This new security suite is a step up from their standard free antivirus I've told you about before, and is packed with a ton of useful features. In addition to blocking viruses and malware, it offers ransomware protection, an advanced firewall, a VPN with up to five gigabytes of usage per week, and extra privacy when you browse the net. Also included is a game mode that automatically suspends other non-essential activities. The only con is that not all features are free. When not on sale, their paid plans are reasonable with plans that start at a little more than $8 per month. When installing, they'll ask you if you want to install their browser. If you don't want it, just make sure to click decline. After installing and opening a vast one, you'll notice that it has a nice looking modern interface. In the tabs in the left on home, you can run a comprehensive scan to detect threats outdated programs, hidden viruses, and malware at the same time. When you go to explore, you'll find other scanning options. You can choose folders you want protected from ransomware. And down here in online privacy, selecting VPN secure connection lets you turn on the VPN for extra privacy and lets you know how much you've used of your weekly limit. Coming in at number one is Microsoft Defender. For Windows only, it used to have a reputation for not being so great. In many tests with independent labs, it now ranks higher than most paid-for antivirus programs. 
Other than using common sense, this is what I use on my computers running Windows. Microsoft Defender is great because it's already built into the Windows security app without the need to download any third-party software. It's really easy to use. Clicking on Virus and Threat Protection, you can easily run a quick scan of the locations where threats are usually found. Below that, clicking on Scan Options, it lets you choose to run a full scan of your entire drive. Custom Scan lets you choose specific locations and files. And choosing Microsoft Defender Offline Scan is great for those times to remove more difficult malware. As I've said before, for most people, Microsoft Defender and a little common sense will be all that you need. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What free antivirus software do you use? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.